tell you the truth, I'm proud of it. I've been here 40 years. <laughs> I've been here longer than I've been at home. My name is Kelvin Sanford. Born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. I came to Germany in 1979 as a soldier. My first stop was in Frankfurt, and then uh, the next day I ended up in Mannheim. And then they told me I had the weekend off, me and my friend, we want to go downtown somewhere. So we went to the water tower, got out the water tower, and we stayed till Monday morning at downtown Manhattan. Just looking around, seeing how everything is, see where the party's at, see what the people do, and up we have a good time. I did every weekend, it was like that. BFV was very different. It was military. Everything was all orderly. I found it um, full, compact. Everything off the roll, roll, roll. Can I say something about this place now a little bit? Officer quarters, because this was part of uh, fr this was part of BFV. Here is like a here was majors, because you got double houses. They're major. They are the lowest ranking here. Yeah, and you go up, you goes around and around. As uh, you get to the bigger houses, right, you, they come to lieutenant colonels because you got the colonels, you got the majors, the colonels, the lieutenant, the lieutenant colonels, the colonels, and the generals, yeah. Then you have civilians, high-ranking civilians. They work for the federal government. Okay. I was a truck driver anyway from, from my background, yeah. So... When I switched over to from America to the Germans, right, I said, okay, good. I got a class two driver license. I could drive, I could drive trucks. And then I said, okay, good. I went to look, look start looking for a truck driver job. Was well, a couple of years ago, I found a job, nice job. I was about to be, it was my end, yeah. And I was about to get paid my first time, 21 years hour starting off, right? But I, I couldn't make it because of this here sickness came. ALS, lateral cirrhosis, something like this here, lateral cirrhosis for the nerves and the muscles. If anybody knows Stephen Hawking or Lou Gehrig, he was a famous baseball player. He died from this here thing. This cronkite dust closed your body down, it shut your body completely down. You can end up in the bed, not, not swallowing, not eating. When this becomes, then you will end up in the hospital, intensive care. Where it come from, how you get it, nobody knows. How you get rid of it, nobody knows. They say for me doing what I'm doing, living alone in this house, su supporting myself the best way I can, they say I'm doing well. I go out every day, every day. I can't do everything like that, but I try to do it. If I run out of toothpaste today, oh, tomorrow I'll go there and give me some toothpaste tomorrow. And when a day comes, I can't come out, then that's a problem. That's a problem. But till then, I'm okay. Uh, after I got off the, mil off the military, I lived in Negastaff for almost 40 years until I moved here two years ago. The streets ain't never changed, I noticed that. The streets ain't never changed, it's always the same. It's the same, so it's still in my mind how I go about in this area, right? I think what they're doing here is, is great. For Mannheim, for sure, and that is more lively, I think. It's more uh, people coming together from different countries, different nations and stuff, which is also a good sign, and you see kids rolling around happy. It's like a, like a born again. <laughs>